Hi, in this video we're going to find the derivative of this function, f of x equals ax plus b over cx plus d. Recall if you have a fraction, f over g, like we do in this problem here, we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule says that when we have a fraction like this, if we think of f as our top function and g as our bottom function, it's going to be the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. It's all over the bottom one squared like that. Okay, so now we can just apply this formula to our problem. So f prime of x. So this is our top function. A and B and C and D are constants. So the derivative of B is zero the derivative of x is 1, and so the a just hangs out. So when we take the derivative of this top piece, we're just going to get a times the bottom, cx plus d, minus the top, so ax plus b, times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of d is 0. The derivative of x is 1, so we're left with the c. All of this is being divided by the bottom one squared, so cx plus d, and all of that is squared. Okay, let's see if we can clean this up. So f prime of x is equal to, so it looks like we can distribute the a here, so we would get a times cx, so that's a cx, and then a times d, so plus a times d. Here there's really a minus 1 and we have a c here. So minus 1 times ax times c is minus, oh look, acx. And minus 1 times b is minus bc. We also have the c there. All of this is being divided by parentheses cx plus d and all of that is squared. These cancel, these cancel. So we're left with f prime of x, this is equal to ad minus bc, all over cx plus d squared. And that would be the derivative of our function. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.